Hey guys and welcome to Diagraphics. Today I want to show you a very simple technique to draw a spiderweb like this inside Adobe Illustrator. So we are going to use the grid for this. So go to view, go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. We are starting off by only creating one section of the web. So go to the line tool and draw a line. Mine will be two squares tall. Go to the width and make it a little bit wider. Now go to the stroke menu and select round cap. This will round off the end of the line. Now choose the rotate tool, hold down the alt key and click down in the bottom of the line. As we want each section of the web to be 45 degrees, type in 45 degrees and click copy. Now select both the lines, go to the rotate tool again and once again hold down the alt key and click in the bottom of the line. Now we want to rotate this shape by minus 22.5 degrees and click OK this time, not copy. The reason why we do this is so we can use the straight grid lines to draw the web. So now choose the line tool again and draw a straight line in the top of the web. The length of this line doesn't matter. Now go to Effect, go to Warp and go to Arc. And we want to arch this by minus 25 degrees and then click OK. Now go to the Selection tool and hold down the Alt key to copy this line and move it just under the first one. Now click Ctrl D to duplicate this step two times. Now we have four lines, but we want to adjust them to position them correctly. So now grab the bottom line and you have to click on the path, not the line itself. Move it down where you want it. Now select all the horizontal lines and select Vertical Distribute Center. You can also do it down in your Align panel. So click here and this will make sure they have equal spacing. Now select the entire shape Go to the Shape Builder tool, hold down the Alt key till you see a minus sign to subtract and delete all the excess line. And as you saw, the arcs will correct themselves so they fit. Delete the other side as well. Now we want to make the path follow the line. So with everything selected, go to Object and Expand Appearance. Now the lines and the paths are the same. So here's one section of the web, now we need to duplicate it 5 times. So now with everything selected, go to the Rotate tool, hold down the Alt key and click in the bottom of the section. And because this section is 45 degrees, we want to rotate it 45 degrees. Click Copy. Now we need to duplicate the step 5 times. So finally click Ctrl D to duplicate. 